Hello folks and welcome back to Let's Play Fable 2. I'm your host, Lucamia Darius. As we left off, we were about to head back, well, head to another town, when suddenly, now my dog is being all like, hey, there's there's treasure. Now it's going to take like five centuries just for him to point it out. Oh, okay. It was super hidden behind here. Okay. Got it. I was going to grind for a bunch of gold and whatnot, but it appears that a uh, day is coming. And which usually means that the, you know, day is coming, so places are going to be open, all that fun stuff. I wonder if I can actually get... Hello? Mr. Uh, Mr. Blacksmith? No? No one here? Um, can I? Ah... <laughs> uh, it's the little things. It really is. So anyways, I suppose we'll head back. Well, head towards the next town. Towards the plot. Bowerstone Old Town. Which, again, if you'll remember, is where my old stomping grounds were as a kid. Not a terrible place anymore. Or not as terrible, I suppose. You know, but with it being all... Oh, all the criminals are all caught and all that fun stuff. Do I know you? Ha! So wait, wait, you mean to tell me that Lord Lucian summoned, my, summoned me and my sister up to her, his freaking house, shot both of us, and then before disappearing, he decided, oh hey, that guy has done a pretty damn good job, I might as well escalate him to town sheriff. I, I just wanted to get this, you know, I, I just wanted to put that out there, it's like, you know, we went and got the freaking warrants and all that fun stuff, and suddenly he's the town sheriff. Oh, well. Yes, I, I can see the treasure dog. I really should give the dog a name. Percolated Java Potion. It's coffee. The Java of choice from Oak Ridge to Wraith Marsh for villagers with a surplus of work to do and deficit of taste. Java potions cause your health to restore gradually for a limited period of time, as well as giving you an experience boost. Nice. Is that the treasure? Was that the treasure you were pointing at? The treasure I literally just looted? Yeah. One thing's for sure, the dog mechanic is interesting, but not always, doesn't always work. I'll just straight up say that now, it just doesn't always work. Between him constantly ducking in and out of places and uh, pointing out things I already see and leading me astray to other places, I don't know, I've always been generally annoyed by the dog in this game. Seller. Don't get me wrong. It's kind of useful knowing that there's a bunch of treasure just kind of laying around somewhere. What? What is in this place? This a secret? Is this? Is this a superfluous little cellar? It's a superfluous little cellar. Great. Which way was I heading? I was heading this way. Yes. 
yeah, this is around where which that I, in my little, in my elder sister, slept. Yep, it was right around here next to these, uh, beehives. Can I steal any honey? I'd like to steal some honey. Who knows, I think honey would actually sell rather well uh, in this time of day. Roses, oh. Uh, Latest entry, written over the rough drawing of a castle, reads, I imagine to find a nice prince of charcoal this morning, so I can finally start writing. Oh, nice piece. I can't read right now. A nice piece of charcoal this morning, so I can finally start writing again. Still haven't finished putting down the story about the warrior girl who fights snow monsters. Sparrow always likes listening to that one, since I'm right to sleep. It's not so easy for me. Winter is getting colder, and soon our shelter won't be anywhere near enough. We'll freeze to death if we don't find something better. And the family of travelers who let us stay in their ca caravan last winter haven't come back this year. It was nice having someone in to look after us for a change. If only we could find some secret passage in the castle. We're small enough that no one would take notice. We'd be like ghosts, or like mice. 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 Hiding in the walls. We'd tiptoe out when... Everyone goes to bed and raid the larder. I bet they have so much food in there that they never even notice. Bah, daydream isn't going to get us anywhere. You have to think of something. You have to think of something, Rose. You're the big sister, remember? Ah, She is dead. Let's see if I can't find something of interest around here. I kind of, I, I pseudo wish that I could hurt the kids. I actually think that they'll just run around like chickens with their damn heads cut off. It's rather uneventful like that. You can murder just about everyone you see until the town is barren. Anything in this direction? I know I keep on going off into random directions and whatnot, but I want to see things. I go into this cellar. I'm gonna loot everything I can out of this place. Such as these silver keys. I'm going to need to remember where and when I picked up these silver keys. Because when I finally do go... Ooh, more money. Because when I finally do decide to, you know, just hunt for the random bits and bobs all over the place, I'm going to have to remember... Oh, wait, I already got that one. Oh, wait, I already got that one. Oh, wait, got this one, too. Good lord, all this reading. You guys are going to have to tell me whether or not you guys want me to read or not. The population of Albion, begins this history book, is a bloodthirst. It is as bloodthirsty as it is stupid. The following pages describe the events that lead to the construction of the Crucible. It was a time when heroes were no more, the Witchwood Arena lays in ruins, but the masses hungered still for the spectacle of violence. Aw oh, man, the arena's gone now? Damn. Taken advantage of a vast array of ca caves within, within West Cliffs Mountains, the Crucible was built into living rock of that coastal region. Among the earliest competitors were bandits, guards, and assorted rift raft. Rift raft. All of whom failed to survive the full nine rounds. The first champion was a simple farmer by the name of Thresher Jim, who became a, as famous as any hero and whose rugged good looks sparked a whole new celebrity culture. There have been hundreds of visitors since, but none impressed more than his prime than Mad Dog the Strangler McGraw. After settling, setting new records in every round, Mad Dog retired to become a crucible pundit, commentating alongside Alan Murray, one of, the, one of Albion's most beloved and most idiotic voices. Well, good to know what we'll come to expect later in the game. No, seriously, we're going to probably... I think we're going to find the Crucible and all that fun noise. Any of you weapon shops? Gifts. Food. I suppose I should try to find some potions because... While us dying isn't really a thing that happens in this game often... Well, dying is a thing that happens in this game. Dying is a thing that happens in this game. Keep that in mind. But, is whether or not, um, yeah, that's right, uh, 
This stuff is all cosmetic. No real stats. So it's all in how you wear things in this game. It's not in any armor. Great, isn't it? Ooh, should I go for the mask or should I should I go for the mask or the patch? Mask or the patch? Mask or the patch? This. Equipped. Yeah. I. Wait. Did that guy just find me more attractive? Oh, whatever. I guess I do have that whole Dread Pirate Roberts thing going for me. Ooh, is there a weapon shop over here? Yes, there is. Weapons. I want weapons. Oh, a, a discount on the house. Yes, that makes sense. Rusty mace. I suppose I should upgrade to an iron mace. Price. Oh, wow. That is actually a good price. Um, sell my rusty. And I'll buy the mace. Oh, it's a expensive for a reason, but at the same time, I'm going to use it to bash in the skulls of all the people ever. Oh, yeah, that looks a lot better than a rusty old mace. Not sure why a rusty old mace would do that much less damage. I mean, the properties of it are the same, it's just rusty. Alright, oh, that's like all the other plot. So let's head over this way and follow along this road to Rickridge. And I'm pretty sure the dog is going to bark at random treasure any moment now. There it is. <laughs> it's almost pseudo predictable like that. Don't mind me, just a average highwayman just uh, digging up some jet. Awesome. Less a gem than a chunk of decayed and fossilized wood. Can probably find yeah, you can probably find equally stylish examples from the wreckage of a burned down house. Oh, that's not cool. I mean it's, it's worth something to someone, it looks pretty. Okay, I need five keys to open this. I don't have five keys. Silver keys, by the way. Fifteen hour journey on foot. This suddenly makes me really glad that cars exist. But at the same time, cars suck. But at the same time, I'm glad they exist. But now really they suck. I don't know, I've just never had a thing for cars. I swear you're not talking about me. You're not talking about me, right? Eh. I think this is another one of those games where you have to go out of your way to become evil. Another fiver, damn it. I am, I am gonna have to go back off camera, find the keys that I've missed if I'm good to be able to open those. More money. You know what? You're doing good, dog. Uh, d dog. I'm trying to praise you. Hold still. There's your good puppy. Who's your good puppy who is not standing right in front of me? There we go. Now that I praise them, let us move on. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Pick. Uh -huh. Not that I don't blame you or anything, but uh, you want to wait until the corpses are at least cold. I mean, the rain probably doesn't help preserve. Oh, wait. Sorry. Can I pick up the scroll? I can't pick up the scroll. Oh, well. There's bandits up ahead somewhere. If that uh, person that was running around with a chicken, like a chicken with his head cut off, has anything to say about it. I don't think so because of the uh, skull and crossbone. F yes. <sighs> because it sucks. 
I don't wanna. I'd rather charge in with a chick. Charge in all willy fick nilly. Can I even. Yar. Yeah. Yeah. Look at all the dead people. It's glorious. Oh, why don't you spend a part of marksmanship? Because I don't need to. I just need my trusty friend, Mr. Mace. Ah, stop flourishing. Or blocking, whatever is the difference is. I can now flourish, or er, toughness. I, why do you keep on kicking? I don't need kicking. I can now afford dexter styles. That's, that's good for dexterity. I'm gonna... I don't know why the hell the hero was doing that. I can now afford force push. What am I, a Jedi? I'm like a mix between the Jedi, Dread Pirate Roberts, and... I don't know. Someone that wields a big mace. If someone can think of a big mace-wieldy person for me, then uh, that'd be great. Do, do, do. Can I open this gate? Uh, I've been cut off by the bandits. Or the, someone in Oakvale will be able to give you more information on how to clear them out. Or you could just knock down the door and say, Hi, I'm here to kill you. Of course, then again, bandits are supposedly going to be all buddy-buddy with me, I think. I don't know. These games always seem to work weird. It's over here. Keep on forgetting these things. Ooh, a silver key. Yes, thank you. I noticed the silver key. What is this? Beneath the statue's black, someone has scratched the words, Beware the ghost. Pfft, ghosts, I don't believe no ghosts. I say as I immediately turn around and boo, there's a ghost. Wouldn't that just suck? That'd kind of suck. I wonder if I could kill a ghost with my mace. Again, not entirely sure why I'm bothering breaking all this stuff. Of course it's not alright, he's dead. Wah! Uh, sorry, you're gonna do the what now? I couldn't hear you over the sound of your friend dying. Man, these people. Okay, you know how I said where I was all like, oh man, 6,000 experience just to level up next in my strength. How am I ever going to afford that? Actually, I probably should put a point of toughness in. Because not dying, it's a good idea. Yeah, look at that increase to my health bar. Really, dog? Really? It's right on the path. It's not even on the on the beaten trail off to the side. No, it's like right in the path. Uh, written by a member of the Canite tribe, native of the northern regions of Sam Samarkand, and famed for their use of the dogs of warfare. Use this book to train your dog in the art of fighting, increasing the damage he can do in combat. Really, I didn't notice that he was even fighting in combat. Oh well. Good on you, dog. You can now fight alongside me better, I guess. Nah. I prefer to make things a little bit more complicated. Let's make things difficult! I... Wait, did that guy just sit back down? Aha! I can now raise the dead, if I so pleased. I love how they're like, you know, you can use this assassination skill, or you can completely and totally ignore everything that we say you, you can do. Like, the only reason that I invested in a magic spell was because, well, I needed it to... Gee, I wonder what this one's going to tell me. Animal lover, dog trainer, and circus owner Rufina Musket wrote this series of books to pass on her intimate knowledge of the canine physio psychology. Rather, 
Use this book to teach your dog how to hide his face with his paws to see him do this, either belt or fart. Yep. See him do this, either belch or fart. I mean, at the least he's... Yeah, now he's a two-star fighter. There's another one that I just gave him. Oh well. Can I break this rock? That's not a rock, that's a bush. I wonder what else is over here. I mean, come on, look at this place. It looks like it's just rife with places that someone buried stuff. Oh yeah. Look who's made his return. It's a dog. I mean, it could. I mean, um, you can teach your dog tricks by finding, um, how about watch it go fetch? I could have sworn I threw that off a cliff. How about that? Is that doing anything for you? Uh, what else can he do, pup? My dog can't really do much else. He can fetch. I can heal him. I could. I could punish him. I'll. I'll have to come back for that because, yeah, I don't have many other dog tricks besides fetch. Again, one of those things I'm going to have to look into later on. And you know that the golden line of plot b brings you to some place important when the golden circle appears. I mean, if you insist. I don't think they were right intended for me to actually jump like this. Oh well. Needed a nice little swim anyways. Oh goody. I think this is an escort mission coming up. Hobbs are never a fun thing in this game. In any of these games, actually. I think it's mostly because... Hmm, dive spot. Ooh, XP potion. Uh, da -da. <laughs> so you can actually... Mm. So, yeah, you can actually use those XP potions when you got a combo, at least in the previous game, I don't know about this one, and gain more experience from them than what would be originally in the potion. It's kind of neat. And where's the rancid little buggers? Oh, don't, don't worry about it, pup. Dude, did you just Ralph all over the place? Eh, it's not that bad. It's only a bunch of, you know, half-eaten and fully eaten people. What? And follow. Damn right you will be. 
A little pansy. Kinda remind me of the Pathfinder goblins. You know, it kinda looks like they're uh really silly, really clumsy like, but you know. I Yeah. Wait, is there actually comboing? I don't think there is comboing. I think I can just straight up use the potion. Percolated, here it goes. What a down XP. Yum. Um. I mean, they could have been kids. What, what you did? Just, I'm like 15 feet to the left, dude. Taking a beggar's ring. May look pretty at first, but it's likely to rot the wearer's ring. Lovely. I, I'm gonna go over this here for a second. Yeah, just a little bit. I mean, then again, it's kind of a horrifying thought. I mean, that's that's what I'm doing. No. Well, they are. Look at them. They're old. And probably upheld by hobs. Hob craftsmanship is not to be trusted. Kind of like goblin craftsmanship. I always found that the weirdest thing. Uh, dude. Dude. Ah, balls. Leave it to a foolish father. Hey, pup, how about, you know, taking care of the ones that are alive? Just a thought. It was a wild thought at that. Not even that wild. It's it's pretty common sense. You you take care of the ones that are conscious. I don't even know. What is what is life? I hit the damn thing. I was trying to coop de gras the bastard and he keeps on running away. Come on. Die. Thank you. Ah five bucks says that man's now dead. Because uh, I hear Joey up ahead. <laughs> Come on, where are you? There you are, you bastard. I was wondering whether or not there was something in there. This is not going to end well. Oop. Okay. Really? Like, I, I had a plotline quest thingy for this. You really didn't need to have the dog make it so as I, you know, whatever. Ooh. This, this place doesn't look very nice. Like, at all. I don't like the sound of crying. Okay, where was that guy the entire time he was talking? Because he was just... How about I kill all these hobs first? You know, not to be a goody-goody about it, but it would definitely improve the situation that everyone's feeling towards hobs. Especially the guy that just recently found out that his son was turned into one. Just a thought. But I might as well leave this place. Seems like a nice little cave, though. I mean, I'd certainly like to live here if I was some sort of evil overlord of these guys or something. Nice little cave system, a little bit difficult to navigate, but I think I could get used to it. Where are they 
these guys do? What is with that one hub? Oh my god. Uh, I'm not sure what the hell is going on anymore. Is that, is that guy still alive? Is he dead? I know I'm letting a lot of experience go to waste too with uh, with some of them just kind of going over the edge. I don't. How about you attack him? No? No attacking? No attacking from my favorite little poochie? Ugh. Alright. What? Oh, now you're being all barky barky at them. He's down here. Hello? Ooh, treasure. I'm going to be really pissed if one of these ends up being an iron mace. Considering I spent like a whole 600 on... No. It's just java beans. Java bean potion. Do 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 I... That one's wearing a girl's dress. I wonder what that one was in his life as a kid. Probably a girl. A girl, a girl. I mean, that one's got a bucket on his head. I don't even know about that one. Yeah, that one. The one that I literally just beat. Uh, I... okay? That was weird. What? What? Where's the treasure boy? Oh, neat. I keep on forgetting that he's going to detect the treasure almost every which way. Water down on XP? Yeah, might as well. Brutal styles. I could now flourish if I so pleased. I also couldn't for I really wish that damn thing would go away. The top part there where it's telling me, oh, hey, here's all this information you don't need. Because you probably already know it. Well, time to exit to Rookridge. And inevitably call it an episode. Because, yeah. Rookridge. That's where I need to go next. Ah, <sighs> banditry ho. Yeah, if only you could really align yourself with the bandits in this game would make things so much easier. And welcome to... Huh? Oh! Hi guys! I uh, seem to remember you guys telling me, oh hey, I should probably swim. Yeah, I didn't really need to swim that well. I, I could have probably just, you know, used some sort of rope. But no, you guys were all like, oh, hey, go for a swim. I'll do the job. I was like, no, I, I'd rather not swim. Ah. Rookridge. Up here. Come on. Here it is. Oakfield, 70 miles, son of a bitch. Couldn't have at least gotten a horse, a buggy, something like that? No, I have to walk all the way, 15 hours. In addition to walking from Old Town to this point was another 15 hours, so it's taken me 30 hours. It took me a full day of walking with no rest to get all the way to Oakfield. Huh. <sighs> Well, now that I'm in Oakfield, I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode. Because, you know, time and length of videos and whatnot. I'd rather not have them keep going for too long. That's something I keep on pointing out in every episode. I'm going to try to stop that. I probably won't. Anyways, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.